All right, guys, I am going to show you all some examples of how the potty book has been done in the past, just to give you all some ideas on what you can do. You can choose characters from books, uh, cartoons, movies, create your own characters. It's totally up to you, but you basically walk them through the urine making process. So let me just show you some examples. So this one is based on the Lorax and he speaks for the penises. So of course, this is probably one of the only classes you'll be able to get away with drawing penises for your um, actual work. But what he does is he takes his little Lorax penis through the process of making urine in his book. So that's kind of cute. Uh, if you can remember back to third grade, I believe it was third grade when y'all started reading like your chapter books and you had the Junie B. Jones books, if you remember those. So this one's based on Junie B. Jones. Mommy, what's that? Of course, that one takes Junie through the urine making process. If you like Dr. Seuss, here's the uh, play on the book, Oh, the Places You'll Pee, instead of the places you'll go. This one was done where the girl actually created her own character and she hand drew all the, the, the pictures and you know laminated them and put them in this awesome book this one is probably has to be hands down the best book I've ever gotten. And she also uh, rhymed it. So let me just give you an idea of what it sounds like Well, she's starting out, you know, at the very beginning of the story, which is what I would like you to do. But anyway, in a faraway kingdom, in a faraway land, a diva was spoiled by her servants at hand. Come here, she would beckon and no, that's not right. She was rotten to all until one night. So again, hand drawn. She was relaxing alone in her crystal juice glass when over her head a large shadow did pass. She swam and she swam but could not get away from the human that swallowed her without any delay. So basically what this girl is doing is she's taking you from this person drinking something and I won't read the whole book but she's basically this is going into the small intestines. There's all the little villi. She's getting absorbed into the uh, bloodstream and there's your absorption by the villi in the small intestine and of course she talks about metabolism and then eventually you know the waste products get put into the bloodstream so those are all a bunch of little blood cells or blood drops carrying her to the kidney where she's going to be filtered out there's the little capillaries for the glomulus there where she's being filtered um, and there she's traveling through the tubes of the nephron Anyway, it goes on and on. It, it's really well done. Um, she eventually, there's a picture of her showing she's going down the ureter. Um, anyway, just really well done and hand drawn. Um, here's one that if you remember uh, the old show, Will Smith and the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, this one is the Fresh Prince of Blad Air. And if you remember the song that went along with that show, she based her her narrative in here on that song. I'll read the first page. And if you've ever seen the show, you'll, you'll catch you know, what I'm doing here, what she did here. Now, this is a story all about how my life got flish flush all around. And I'd like to take a minute to help you see how it went from Coca-Cola to a little drop of pee. So she, she hand drew her pictures too, but that was very clever. Um, this one's not as flashy, but they based it on a history lesson. The Adventures of Sacagapia with Lewis and Fart. And they were very clever. Like I said, they hand drew, not as pretty as drawings, but that's okay. They did a little map because Lewis and Clark were traveling and they were trying to get through the body to the unknown lands. And of course that is the urinary bladder, but you can see they have Stumerica, they have Kinesia, they have Liver Dead, they have uh, Hartsville. So they, that was really cute. And they have their little compass down there. Um, this one was based on a children's book as well, so that was kind of clever with Don't Let the Pigeon Pee His Pants, so she based it on those pigeon books. And this one's based on the, uh, the Narnia books, which, you know, became the movie called Joiny, Journey of Toilot, and this one's done very clever too. She created her map because they were trying to get to, to or find the kingdom of Toilot, so you can see she had a play on words too, where they went from Kidnia and down the Eurythria Valley, which is the ureter, to the ancient ruins of Blada Blada, and then out through the Eurythria River, so that was pretty clever. So she um, ends up having this princess taking the pea people along their journey. I won't read it to you, but the end of this one is kind of my favorite. So they end up getting, uh, 
you know, finally out of the body, it shows they traveled down the waters of the urethreus, which is the uh, urethra. And they were fearful that they were gonna die. And anyway, at the end, it was a rough way down, but they made it. They were overjoyed to be alive. To add to their string of good luck, they looked up and saw the great wizard of Toilot standing on a log. He told us not to fear that we, he would give us a new home. So basically they've been peed out and flushed. So you're looking at a picture of the toilet bowl. So you can see all their little happy faces. And there is your wizard sitting on a log, which this is a toilet bowl. So you can use your imagination and figure out what the log is. But anyway, that was kind of cute. This one not done quite so well. He was one of my students that always gave me a hard time, but now that I look back on it, it was never boring, but he did <laughs> the adventures of Captain Snip, which if you look at that, it's penis spelled backwards. And what he ended up doing was shrinking down Captain Sinep, which of course looks like a penis with a cape and his little penis superhero traveled through different tubes. You can see how he's traveling and you can see the little penis guy that's inside the little tubes, but he's traveling through the different parts and he's telling the story about how urine is made. Um, this girl was a scrapbooker. So of course she made a really cool scrapbook, Winnie the Pea. That one was done quite well. Um, just some other examples to give you ideas. The kids knew I love Godzilla. Like I said, this has been years ago before um, the current Godzilla movies comes out, but Godzilla goes to Taco Bell. So they um, and drew some of the stuff. They were really good drawers, but they also printed out um, some stuff anyway. So there's Godzilla at Taco Bell ordering. So basically they, they took the urine making process through Godzilla you know, showing him drinking his Baja Blast, you know, so that was cute. Um, Phineas and Ferb, mom, Phineas and Ferb are talking about pee holes again. So that was kind of a cute idea. This one's kind of gross, which I guess they're all gross if you think about it. Willy Wonka and the Pea Factory, but you know, based on it was a chocolate factory. Um, the Magic Urine Bus. And I think that's all the examples I have. Anyway, hopefully that's enough examples to kind of give you an idea of where, what direction I want you to go with this. If um, you want to use the Book Creator app, that's perfectly fine. That's, that's what most of the, I'm sure most of the people are going to use that. But if you do like to draw and you want to be creative and create your own book like this, where you're, you're making a physical book, um, the way you can turn it in um, there's multiple ways. You could, you could drop it off at the main office. You could just do a Flipgrid video where you're reading it like I just did, and, you know, like a story time. Um, or you can take pictures of the pages and submit it that way. Um, whatever, y'all talk to me about what you want to do if you want to do it outside the Book Creator app and, and be a little creative because I know everything digital kind of gets, you know, old after a while. So um, just let me know if you have any questions. Hey, guys.